consultative meeting of the Climate Emergency Advisory Committee. Thank you for putting some time in your diaries to come to this additional meeting. Um, it needed to happen because of the one that we missed and the fact that we have to discuss this report. So there's only one agenda item and that is it. So um, just to introduce myself, my um, name is Councillor Katie Dye. Shall we go around and introduce everybody else, starting with Councillor Anderson? Councillor Barry Anderson, Adlin mm -hmm. Wharfdale Ward. Thank you. Councillor Blackburn. Uh, Councillor David Blackburn, finally in Workley Ward. Thank you. Councillor Bowden. Uh, Councillor Jordan Bowden, Roundhead. Thank you. Councillor Buckley. Councillor Neil Buckley, or Woodley Ward. Thank you. And we did have apologies from Councillor Carlill, and I think we were due to have Councillor Brooks. I don't see Councillor Brooks. Okay. Um, do we have Councillor Garthwaite? Councillor Hayden? Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Councillor Hayden, Temple Newsom Ward, Exec Member for Infrastructure and Climate. Uh, thank you. Councillor Newton? Yeah, hi, Councillor Newton, Marley South. Thank you. Do we have Councillor Shazad? No. Okay, Councillor Thompson. Good afternoon, Councillor Eleanor Thompson, Geisley and Rawdon Ward. Thank you, Councillor Truswell. Good afternoon, everyone. Paul Truswell, Councillor for Middleton and Belle Isle. Thank you, Councillor Tudor. And Councillor Wadsworth. Uh, good afternoon, Councillor Paul Wadsworth. You're very lumpy at the moment. I don't know whether uh, it's just me. I might take you downstairs and see if you're any better down there. But uh, um, and Anybody else having anymore. problems? No. no don't you sound fine. fine to me, Katie. <laughs> that, then may, maybe that's what you need to do, Councillor Wadsworth. Okay, so um, thank you very much um, and welcome to officers as well. So um, shall we have introductions from officers? Do you want to start with Polly? Hi, so Polly Kirk, I'm the Chief Officer for Sustainable Energy and Air Quality. Thank you, Polly. Rachel? Yeah, Rachel Wainwright, Policy Officer for Sustainable Energy and Air Quality. Thank you, Chad. Ted Newton, Senior Policy and Communications Officer, Sustainable Energy and Air Quality. Thank you, Cassie. I am Cassie Sivapalan. I'm the clerk to this committee. Thank you very much. So, is there anybody we miss? I think Councillor Tudor's just joined us. Uh, and Councillor oh. Shazad? Uh, thank you, Chair. I'm having problems logging in. Councillor Mamich is out from the Mortal Meanwood Ward. Uh, apologies for that, for being late. That's okay. Thank you very much. Um, it's good to have you here. Anybody that I've missed? Uh, Chair, you mentioned before you asked about Al Garthway. I just checked on the email. She did respond that she couldn't attend today. Did she? Right. Thank you yeah. very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Cassie, do we have any other apologies? Uh, Councillor Carlill and Councillor Hartbrook both sent their apologies ahead of the meeting. OK, thank you very much for that. Right, so let's move on. And next item is declarations of interest. Anybody have any they need to declare? OK, so... Um, as I said, we've only got one agenda item today, um, and that's to look at the annual report. So um, first of all, can I say a huge thank you to Chad, Rachel and Polly for putting it together. Uh, very much appreciated. Did you, you want to speak to it before we go through? Obviously, we'll assume that everybody's read it. Um, I suppose the only 
point I would draw out is just to say that it is a reflection on the work of SEAC. It's not a reflection on all the climate work across the council. Um, and we just try and make that distinction. So the climate work of the whole council will go into exec board in February. So this report is very much focused on the output of the main committee and also the working groups. Um, and obviously with the cancellation in September, there's been less groups. So we've also looked at some of the, the future work programme as well in terms of what our plans are. So I think, but hopefully people have read it. So then we'll go straight to questions. Okay, so um, anybody want to start us off with any questions or comments? Councillor Trussell. Thank you, Chair. It's just, just a few very straightforward questions. Um, I know that the uh, Transport and Behaviour Change Working Group had its title amended and um, I understand why that's been increased and thoroughly supported. In the section later on on page 11 where it talks about the communities and business engagement working group there's absolutely no mention of transport either as part of the discussion so it's really just to flag up the fact that I hope transport and I'm sure this is not the case hasn't been lost um, in terms of the, the working group's terms of reference and their discussions. Um, and also, it, one is really, <laughs> I'm sorry about this, a matter arising. In the schedule at the back of the people who've been to give presentations to SEAC, there's reference to the Climate Action Leeds City of Lead, and there was a request for us to assist the organisation in, in obtaining premises. I just wonder if there's been any movement on that that might be reflected in the in the report. Thank you, Councillor Trusswell. Anybody able to respond to any of those comments? So I think in terms of the sort of transport and behaviour working group, I, I don't think it's been lost from the terms of reference, but I think that working group has started with the focus on behaviour change because we didn't have that last year. Whereas I suppose the working group last year was all focused on transport. Um, so I think it's a bit similar to the food and biodiversity one that there's been more focus on food because the first year it was more focused on biodiversity, um, but concern, certainly have a look at that with the working group in terms of the the premises I'd, I'd have to go away and check if I'm totally honest and have a look and see whether there's anything we can reflect thank you Polly um Councillor Trusswell any comments following that suppose it I, I do appreciate that transport tends to consume a huge amount of time in any group or organisation that's debating climate change, but it is one of the absolutely crucial ones. And I think, for example, in terms of reference to the local plan update, which is a, a brilliant document and really does push the boat out as far as possible as to what we might do within our planning powers granted to, granted to us by government, but a major, major, major shortcoming in the overall process, which is not of our making, is the fact that there is a huge deficit in terms of a sustainable transport mechanism. So, as I've said before, and I know I'm bored people with it, we are building lots and lots of houses with no connection into an integrated, sustainable, affordable and reliable transport system, which will invariably generate more car usage. So, yeah continue to fly the flag for a concentration on transport okay thank you and we i mean that's something that obviously we, we need to note and, and and make sure that we're paying attention to as we move into next year isn't it so councillor did you want to come yeah. back on that yeah i was just going to say we have got some items coming to the main committee on transport um, so I think we've got the mass transit scheme coming. So we, it, it is still reflected in the main committee, even if the working group's been more behaviour change folks. But we will take that on board and have a look at it with the working group. OK, thank you. Um, Councillor Tudor. Hi, yeah, just a, just a quick, really positive comment at the beginning about how incredibly impressive for Leeds 
the grade A award from the Carbon Disclosure Project is uh, in terms of being in the top 100 and odd cities out of a thousand cities measured globally. I think this is a, it seems an, quite an extraordinary achievement for Leeds City Council. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. Anybody want to respond to that, apart from us all feeling really, really impressed? No, just to thank Chad and team really for all the hard work they put in in terms of pulling that together um, and it is a massive achievement for us and I think we just need to keep building on that really because every year the criteria get harder and harder and um, so we need to make sure that we don't become complacent and we keep work you know build on the feedback that we get from that process. Thank you yep so yeah echo that Chad brilliant piece of work thank you. Uh, Councillor Hayden. Uh, just on that, um, thank you, Councillor Trudor, for um, for raising that. Um, it is incredibly impressive, and um, when you see what other cities were with, and I think, but I think it's also a fair reflection of of where Leeds is. And like Polly says, not getting complacent. Um, you know, there's still plenty more that we need to um, transport, as we've just been discussing. Um, been the been a huge factor. Um, so, but yeah, huge thanks to the team and congratulations as well. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, any more comments? Do um, any of the chairs of the subgroups have any comments they'd like to make about the, the um, sections regarding their groups? Councillor Shazad? Yeah, so thank you, Chair. I'd just like to say, Chad, uh, as one of the officers on my working group, has been doing a wonderful job. And uh, so far, the group's been well attended. And uh, we are looking at some interesting things going forward, especially uh, uh, coming to look at businesses in the January subgroup. So hopefully, there'll be some opportunity for businesses to see how uh, they can actually uh, get some funding from the LEP and uh, how they could become uh, or reduce their carbon footprint or even try becoming carbon neutral and uh, what else would be available. I, I mean, there's lots probably to cover in our group, as uh, Council Paul Trustwell has said, uh, even though it doesn't necessarily touch on our group uh, transport, but it is something that communities and businesses are definitely concerned about. And we've not really looked into putting transport into it, but maybe... Uh, where we could maybe look at uh, having some discussion on transport if that'll help the uh, obviously communities and businesses so uh, yeah uh, that's all from me chair and thank you to all those attending thank you council trustwell again Sorry, Chair, I had difficulty working the microphone button. Um, I mean, just in keeping with my role as sort of cantankerous old fart, which you will be spared in a few months. Uh, just going back to the um, the A grade categorisation, which of course is hugely welcome. But I just wonder, given, and this is me back on my transport hobby horse again, given the woeful public transport system that we've got in Leeds, how much weight is actually attached to that by the Carbon Disclosure Project? Is that something that you'd like to comment on, Chad? Uh, yes, I, I certainly can. Um, the short answer is um, that I can share the um, scoring criteria with, with all members on this group to look into in more detail. Um, but what is measured is kind of action to resolve and reduce um, transport emissions um, rather than the baseline um, that you're starting from. Um, so we, we did um, have to, you know, disclose and provide information about all the different transport related schemes, you know, that, whether that's connecting leads or, um, you know, promoting electric vehicles and such like. Um, but yeah, as, as, I, as, I, as I would kind of clarify, it's around, you know, what actions are being done to, to reduce those rather than, you know, saying we got an A grade because we, we've already solved the problem of transport, because obviously that isn't the case. 
Thanks, Chair. Thanks, Chad. I think that information would be really useful steer for future work. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that, Chad. Thank you, Councillor Trusswell. Anybody else got any comments or questions? Is that a hand, Councillor Tudor? It is. I can't find my digital hand. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, of course, I only came in this year, so I've been playing catch up and trying to learn how to be a councillor since only about June. Um, but on rereading this year's re report, I was interested to, to read about um, circular economy more and um, wondered if any officers had any, any more comments on, on the future of circular economy in Leeds. So on Friday, I think it is, I can double check, we've actually got a working group that's completely dedicated to that, looking at the sort of concept and looking at what's already happening and actually how we could do more to drive the circular economy in Leeds. Um, so if you'd be interested in joining that, that's probably the best forum to, to kind of get more into an in-depth discussion. So I can make sure you, you get the set, sent the invite. And if you aren't able to attend, we can maybe have a conversation afterwards about the scope of what's discussed. Thank you. Did you want to respond to that, Councillor Tudor? No, no, that's great. Thank you. I, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Super. I, I mean, that's absolutely vital work, isn't it, moving forwards? And so, yeah, it'd be great if you can be part of that. Fabulous. Thank you very much. So, Councillor Buckley. Thank you, Chair. It was just a brief um, uh, question, actually. Uh, on page six of, of the papers, um, references made to the Environment Agency in Yorkshire Water. And I don't know whether you recall, but um, there, there was some discussion at, uh, with Yorkshire Water that uh, they've sold off some woodlands um, dotted around the city, and in particular, I think at least two in, um, in my patch. And we were going to get them to, as I remember, tell us what their policy was and whether they'd stopped selling these woodlands and whether they could just tell us that they didn't have any plans to sell any more. Anybody remember a response coming back from Yorkshire Water on that? I'd have to go back and look at the specific actions. I know there was a discussion about um, an offline conversation specifically about the issues within the ward. I can't remember what was agreed about the overarching, but we're, we'll certainly go back and look at it. It was quite a few months ago now, unless unless Cathy or anyone in governance can, can remember more effectively than me. No, I don't, sorry. It, it would, sure, it would just be a matter of uh, asking them to comment, really. Um, reassure, let's put it that way. OK, can we pick that up as an action then, please? Yep, sure. Thank you. Um, I've just noted um, a request from Councillor Thompson to join and Rachel will send an invitation. So um, thank you very much for those comments in the chat. Okay, any further comments? If not, um, I'll just pick up a couple from me if that's all right. Um, so the, the first thing I wanted to do, I think I have already said thank you, but thank you for all the work that's gone into producing it. And one of the things that I particularly like um, is the fact that each section is ended with a kind of a where next action which I think in terms of us looking to future work is really, really important. You know, we need to say what we've done, but we also need to say, where are we going next? And uh, I'm really pleased to see that in there. I went through mine and highlighted them and I've got lots of highlights on that. So um, I think that's really good. And we can then take it forward as a document um, for picking up on when it's been to council and saying, this is where we're going to go with, with CAP next, which I think is, something we all need to be um, minded to, to be thinking about. So thank you for that. I think that's really important. Um, and then just a, a little um, change, if we could, on the appendix for the open forum for the 21st of July, 
um, the attendee is list listed as Seacroft Community Hub. Can that be changed to Climate Action Seacroft, which is the proper name of the group that attended? And in the key issues raised next to it, um, I'm pretty sure that should say to become a social prescriber. Yeah, sure, we'll pick up those changes. Super, thank you. Councillor Tudor? If we're getting down to this little, <laughs> uh, uh, level of, of detail, uh, page five refers to Appendix A and page 13 refers to Appendix 1. Oh, we're on fire this afternoon. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, I have to say, if, if, if that's the, the level of detail that we're picking up, then I think that, that shows that generally we're pretty impressed. Councillor Anderson. You're on quickly, mute. Just, just quickly, on the appendix, in the appendix, it's got that responses were sent out, which is fine. Do they get, maybe they have been sent to me and I've just not read them, but do they get sent to the members of this committee, the responses that we send out? Could be me. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember. I, I, I don't think they do, actually. I think I mean, we get notice that when we pick up the minutes of, uh, of the meeting, we get notice that they've received a response, but I don't think we actually... Just have seen it. A suggestion in that case, then. Yep, taken on board, Councillor Anderson. We'll build that in. Thank you. Okay, so I'm looking around at. Oh, is that a, a virtual hand, Councillor Tudor? And on a non-virtual hand, a real one. <laughs> um. Uh. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's a, the right point in the meeting, um, but <clears throat> it's interesting when members of the public have, have it is when I was re reading through and I thought it's an interesting part of this this whole work th that, um, that that the presentations from members of the public. Um, and I think that's a real opportunity, public relations wise, as well as content wise to to highlight the, you know, that, that this panel is doing this work um, and whether whether we can publicise more, um, inviting people to come and make representations to the panel, um, because it's, it's just a win-win, isn't it, that people will find out more about what we do um, and maybe then participate more as well from the public. I, I would absolutely agree with that. And I think we, we did discuss that briefly at, at the last meeting. And I encouraged um, all of you to, 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 to reach out to groups in your community or individuals who are doing work that you think they'd like to share and, and ask them to come along because I think that'd be really good to hear from across the, the city. Polly? Uh, so I think at the moment we always ask for requests through the climate emergency newsletter that goes out monthly and that has about six and a half thousand recipients and then I think we also tend to use our Twitter account as well but we'd be grateful for people retweeting or resharing the newsletter um, because there's always a risk that you end up just going out to quite an environmentally focused audience um, and we also when I do lots of meetings with different businesses and things make them aware of sort of the opportunities so I think it'd be good to try and like Councillor Dye said to, to widen the net. <laughs> Excuse. Brilliant thank you very much so any final comments any final questions um, right okay so the worries that we had about people sliding into another meeting at three o'clock are unfounded because we seem to be done and dusted at only half past two so uh, can i finish by saying a huge thank you um to officers for their work on the report and a huge thank you to um councillors for their work on CEC and for giving up time to attend this meeting today very much appreciated and you are now free to go and enjoy the rest of whatever the afternoon holds for you. Thanks, Katie. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you, Thank you Jay. Yeah.
Bye. Bye. Bye.